Hello, in this video I'll just try to find the x-intercepts of sinusoidal functions. In most of the cases you will be asked to find the y-intercepts of a sinusoidal function. The reason is it is far easier than uh, finding x-intercepts of any transform sinusoidal function. Finding sinusoidal x-intercepts of sinusoidal function, the pan sinusoidal function is easier, but the transform one is a little bit difficult, so you will hardly see the um, you have been asked to find the x-intercepts. But if you need to find x-intercepts in this video, I'll try to make it as easy as possible for you to understand how to find that. You know that the parent function of a sinusoidal function is written y equals to sine x or cos x, right? And the transformed uh, model is um, a k sine x minus c plus d or a sine k x minus c plus d. Either of them is fine. <coughs> Now, in this model, you know that A is an amplitude, K is a constant that affects the period, and C is a horizontal translation, D is vertical shaped. Period is 2 pi by K, where the K is needed, and you know what is period. Period is a revolution, it, like it's a sign, in any sinusoidal function that takes time to complete one revolution, that is called period, or one cycle. Now, to find the accent intercepts, we need to know that what is the single unit of x that is actually affecting the enter translations. For example, like if you have y equals to sine x, that means you have some specific intercepts, specific points of the intersect, so which is this. So for example, like suppose this is 360 degree, you have 0, 180, and 360 degrees. It's simple. But every time you're changing it, every time you're bringing, you're changing the x with something, like you can say, a sine 2x, a sine 2x minus like a 3 plus 1. See, every time you're changing the theta with some translations or transformations, you are changing the entire intercepts. For every single translation, every single transformations, every single time you're changing something with a the theta, the graph is moving right, left, up, down, or like it is maybe like a stressed or compressed, the x-intercepts are affected by that. So it is better if you can just find sing, simply the unit value of the x, like if you change the angle by x, like one unit, how much is changing, how much is changing the x-intercept. For example, like this enter thing here is basically the theta. So we can just say sine theta is this. So whatever you're bringing, whatever you're doing in the theta, that is changing your x intercepts. So it is better you need to find you can if you can find what is the unit value that is actually being changed, and that is also changing the other translations or transformations of the sinusoidal model. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a function y equals to three, then sine. I'm taking sine. You can take cos even two x minus 30 degree and I'm bringing it down 1. So what I did, the parent function, I, I have an amplitude now 3 and then I'm taking it to the right 30 degree and I'm bringing it down 1. It's better you don't touch this now because this is just right and left. So if you know the x-intercept, you just add 30 with this or if it's a plus, you just take your 30 from that because the x-intercepts are either going right or left. So you find how much would be the angle that is being changed because of the other stuff, because of the other, like if you bring it down and if you're changing, if you're changing your period by two and the amplitude, then what would be the single unit value of the x that is being changed because of these transformations? So let's take this way. So we take the three sine to and keep it x because that's what I need to know for now and you have minus one so simply just find the sine 2x that gives you I hope that you know how to find that which gives you nineteen point four seven so 2x is giving you 19.47 you need to find the single unit which is 9.74 approximately so that is your single 
x unit that is being changed every time you ch like change the uh, translations or transformations the particular horizontal uh, like uh, shapes so now what is the period of this function the period basically the single parent function period is 360 degree so that you know because this is a cycle one uh, circle is 360 degrees so the parent function and sinusoidal function have 360 degrees uh, period now because of this k as i said the period is 2 pi by k in this graph in this function our period is 2 pi by 2 which is a pi that gives you 180 degree for this particular function now you know the period is 180 of this function right so you have 0 you have three intercepts here 0 19 and 180 degree now you are bringing this function one unit down what happens to that so this point is coming one unit down here this is one unit down there that is one unit down there so the graph will be something like this right this is like a rough sketching so what happens see your intercepts was previous intercept without these or like vertical shift or this horizontal translation the intercepts were here 0 90 and 180 now since i brought it like i just um, I pull it down what happens the intercept ship first intercept ships here second one came to the left right it is this is going right this is coming to the left and if you just extend that if you just extend that you will see that intercept is coming here so that's the problem because we cannot simply uh, put that 180 whatever is the x unit we cannot simply put 30 and 1 because this is not a linear function this is a like wave this is sinusoidal function so whatever is the degree here when you when the point came down when the curve came down that x intercept is on the curve so it is not simply you can just add them you need to know for each of the single unit of x how much is changing there so now you know x is 9.74 right so that means for single translation we have moved to 9.74 so our previous one was zero degree right without this 30 degree translation so now i know that our first intercept is 9.74 degree right which is this and then it came to the left so that means previously it was 90 now you just take out 9.7 from there so 90 minus 9.74 which is um, 80.26 and the third one was 100 third one was 180 right so it went to the right that means you're adding them so you're 180 plus sorry 118 plus 9.74 that gives you 189.74 these are the intercepts if you just bring it one down now what happened you also took the graph 30 degree to the right that means you're adding 30 degree to each of them now so this is giving you 39.74 degree 110 0.26 degree and 229.74 I believe plus 30 219.74 sorry 219.74 degree so these are the three intercepts you have now which gives you the x intercepts from this trans from sinusoidal function this is how you need to find the x-intercepts of this sinusoidal function and hope it helps. Thank you very much.